guess what? They're back! In action! Oh my god, what's going on? So in today's video, we're going to tell you guys a really cool story. Oh, it's actually kind of a sad story, but we'll tell you guys the story. We'll show you guys some really quick footage of the tadpoles. They're back! Oh my god! So I'm going to start off by showing you guys just a little bit of footage of them, showing you how cute they are and everything. Then I'm going to tell you the story of, of what happened and why I have them. So if you don't know, by the way, I did tadpoles last year as well. Basically, I raised them up from uh, little baby tadpoles just like this, and I made them into slash toads. They're, these are toad poles, by the way. They, they become toads. So, let's show you guys some quick uh, little videos of these guys. They are so cute. I've got so many of them right now. Oh my god, look at them all. They're everywhere. This is in a 20-gallon tank right now. The water is not perfection right now, but that's okay. It's actually a lot better than what they were living A lot better than what they were living in just a little while ago. Here's where I just fed them, so there's a lot of them eating the, the tadpole food down here. This is a l less of an information video and more of just a, a story slash fun video. I promise to get you guys some more information videos up in the future. So yeah, I have a lot of them. Honestly, I don't know the exact number of them. Um, I would guesstimate probably about 200 or so. Seems like a pretty good estimate. Here's some uh, uh, top views. I know a lot of people say they look like little sperm swimming around. They're so darn tiny and everything. Yeah, they are. They're really cool and they're really tiny. Just to give you an idea of like the size of them, this is my finger. I don't have abnormally large fingers either, they're actually pretty... I actually have kind of like smallish hands. But here you go, this is what they look like. I mean, you could fit like 15, 20 of these guys just in like the tip of my finger. Easily. Easily. And look at them all, there's a lot of them. Alright, so... I guess I could tell you guys my story while just we look at them. So, um... Where do I start? Where do I start? Alright, so I was on a run the other day. Running around, I was, you know, I, I do my runs every every morning, right around like 10 o'clock or whatnot. And I was, uh, you know, having a good time running around. I'm like, you know what, let's go by the pond over here. I'm just wondering if there's any tadpoles over here. Just anything cool to look at and just, you know, check out. Again, by the way, I was not planning on doing any of the tadpole stuff. I was planning on um, just doing the praying mantis this year and the spiderarium, which spiderarium is officially gone, by the way. Yes, it is. Everything pretty much died except for two spiders, and I don't feel like talking about that right now. Anyways, I was walking around. <laughs> I was walking around for, um, around this big lakish pond thing. I don't know what to call it. It was like a mixture of ponds slash lakes connected together, even under, under roads and everything. So I, uh... I went behind this area and like the bushes were getting pretty big, like the bushy weeds kind of all in, in the way every, everywhere. And I walked around this pond and I was like, there's nothing here. Not a frog, not a turtle, not a fish, not a tadpole, not a snail, not, nothing. There was nothing in the water, which was kind of upsetting. So eventually I went around this entire area. I was like crawling through the bushes. I actually got a pretty nasty, I mean, it's not even that bad. I didn't even, th I didn't even like notice it when it, uh, when it happened, and all of a sudden I got back home and I was like, oh man, yeah, that, that's bleeding pretty bad, and I had blood all in my sock and everything. Obviously, this was a couple days ago. So, anyways, um, sorry, I gotta flip this guy back. So, anyways, I, uh, what happened next? So, yeah, I, I made my way around the pond, I, I started to go by this other pond, I'm like, screw this, this kind of sucks, I'm gonna start heading home. So I decided to try and walk around the other side of the pond, that was like my entire goal, just do an entire loop around the pond. But it was, it was very, very difficult to get around, so I had to go, like, behind this like mud hill and everything and there was this area back there where there was some water and I was like oh this is kind of cool what the heck's going on back here so it's not part of the pond at all um, completely separated in fact it was like a hundred probably I don't know probably like 40 30 40 feet higher in elevation than the pond so it was kind of interesting to see like some water up here and uh, it was basically man-made because they had like a giant it was basically like a construction site almost like they, they stopped doing construction and they just kind of left it there so, anyways, I go back here, I'm like, oh, there's water back here, this is kind of cool. So I walk around, like, the, the outside, and I'm like, boom, a frog jumped in. I'm like, oh, that's cool. Oh, wait, no, it was a toad. So I saw a toad jump in, then I saw another toad jump in, then another toad, and there was a bunch of toads in the water. I'm like, this is really sweet. I'm like, what if there's tadpoles in there? So, I ended up uh, catching, like, five or six tadpoles. They were all, like, in the middle. They were very, very hard to catch. So I did my best to, like, scoop some up near the, the edge of the, the water over there. I was like, I'm just going to bring a few home. That's all I want to do. Just a few tadpoles. Make it easy on myself. I don't want to go crazy like I did last year. So anyways, what I did was, um... I started walking home, but I wanted to go, I wanted to walk home around the pond. So I just, by the way, the way I caught them is I found a Gatorade bottle or, or a water bottle or something, and I just scooped them up, and I brought it home in that. So I didn't even bring anything to catch them, and I just found something. Litterers for the win. So yeah, don't litter, by the way, that's bad. 
So I, I kept moving around, and I, I, I was like, let's go home. I'm on my way home. I got like ten, well, like five, six tadpoles. Nothing, nothing crazy. And they were like mixtures of sizes and everything. I thought that was gonna be kind of fun and interesting to, you know, see a couple mixtures of sizes. And eventually, I, I started going and going and going, and about, I don't know, maybe a quarter mile, half mile later, I found this, like, uh, this, like, dirt farm road that was, like, that had, like, a sunken area where, like, a, a big tire, or, like, a truck tire or something must have, like, m you know, went through mud and created this, uh, you know, kind of sinkhole-looking thing. And a toad put some tadpoles in there, and I was like, uh-oh, that does not look good. So I went over there, and there was, like, straight up a thousand tadpoles in there. They were all the same size, must have been from the same toad, because, again, they were all the same size, and they all hatched at the exact same time. But I was like, this is not good. Why? Because it's in a little tiny puddle. They don't, there's nothing for them to eat, really. This is kind of sad. And I felt like it was going to dry up. So what I did was I captured, I, I released the other tadpoles back in their, their little area, and I got some new, I got some new ones. So I grabbed, a, you know, about a hundred or, or so, and I grabbed them, and then I, I, I brought them home. So I had about a hundred in my aquarium. I was like, okay, that's good. So when it was later that day, I'm like, Amanda, I feel really, really bad for these tadpoles. They're living in a little mud mud pit right now. They're, bare, they're, they're not going to survive, I don't think. We should go grab some more. So I did. I grabbed one of my things, and I grabbed as many as I could in my little thing. I released a bunch of them in the other little pond. Uh, the other little makeshift pond that they had, because I felt like they would have been doing much, much better in that side than in the side they were in. So I released most of them over there, and then I released some more it back in my tank. Amanda was like, you should take care of a bunch of them, a bunch of them, and I'm like, okay, okay, I'll do it. So I did my best to save a bunch of these guys, and then today, again, this is about, this is about three days ago, that this happened, I think, right around there. So today, again, I was like, you know what, let's go back and check it out and see what's going on. We haven't gotten much rain recently. It's been very, very toasty outside, as you guys can plainly see by the sweat dripping down my face and my hair being all gross and nasty and everything. So I went back and I checked again, and guess what? All dried up. There was just a little baby mud, pu mud puddle there with just a few tadpoles barely living. And I was like, oh no! So I tried to rescue as many as I could. My hands got completely muddy and soaked with mud and everything. And I tried to release a bunch of them back into the other pond over there. I did my best to like slurp them up with the, the Gatorade bottle that I found, but it just wasn't enough. And a lot of them did end up dying. So about out of about a, about a thousand of those guys, I saved probably like 300, 400, maybe 500 of those guys, maybe about half of them altogether. But of course, not very many did end up living. 500 probably died or something like that which is kind of upsetting, but that is nature for you. Not every single tadpole is going to become a big, big daddy frog, a big, bad, big daddy toad or whatever. So I did my best. I did my part. I, I tried to save, save these little buddies over here, and I got about 200 in my tank. Eventually, once they become frogs, I'll release them back into the, uh, the area that I found them in, and everything will be good. So anyways, that is my story. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I, I feel like I, you know... I don't feel like I'm doing any, anything bad to nature. I'm just trying to help these animals just a little bit out. You know, when the stupid, stupid dad frog, stupid mom frog, put them down in that little mud puddle down there. What were they thinking? I don't know. I don't know. They had to lay eggs there, and it had to take a couple days for those eggs to hatch. I don't even know how long it takes, but it wasn't very smart. So anyways, to finish off this video, I'm just going to show you guys the tadpoles again so you can see their little cuteness before you end the video. And of course, if you guys liked this video, if you like me taking care of the tadpoles, press the like button for me. I really do appreciate that. And of course, if you have any suggestions on videos that you would like to see involving the tadpoles, make sure you send them my way. Send those ideas my way in the comments below. Um, hopefully these guys will do, will do good and they'll live and be happy and we'll make them into toads again. Yay! Alright, and also the cool thing about these is they're all the same size. So last time, I, I didn't know if I had, uh, you know, one one set of, of toad poles or like a million different sets. This time I know for sure, almost for sure, that this is like one toad's tadpole. So these are all brothers and sisters together. Oh, united forever. No, not forever. We're going to release them pretty soon. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you press the like button. Again, anything else that you want to see, make sure you let me know. And have a super duper delicious day.